It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 9th of March. I'm James Spann. Another beautiful day today. But a band of showers and storms will slip in here after midnight tonight, very early tomorrow. And then for the weekend, we turn colder. We'll have rain Saturday night and maybe snow north of here. Wow, a lot of things going on here. So let's dive in and check it out. Early this morning, it's a zonal flow across the deep south and a dry air mass and a cold morning. Look at Fort Payne, 32. Gadsden, 34, mid-30s for Coleman and Haleyville. Birmingham at 42, but we'll zoom into the mid-70s today with a bright, sunny sky. Just gorgeous, but again, we note that brutally cold air over much of Canada, and that is sagging southward. We'll feel the first bit of that this weekend, the next bit of that by about Tuesday of next week. Next week, at least the first half of the week, looks pretty cool around here for March. Cold mornings for sure. There's the watch warning map, winter storm issues for parts of Montana, but things are quiet elsewhere. And look here, a risk of severe storms late tonight. Now, this is the day one outlook. This runs through 6 a.m. tomorrow. We've got the standard slight risk over parts of northern Arkansas, southern Missouri, and a marginal risk now into the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. This is basically along and north of the Tennessee River. And this is for a band of storms coming in here after midnight tonight. And we'll talk about that as we go. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected on Friday, but some thunder possible across the deep south. And pretty much the same thing on day three, which is Saturday. No severe weather expected. Our rain here this weekend should be in a pretty cool air mass that's stable. Rain for the next seven days, valid through... Thursday morning of next week uh, for the northern half of the state about an inch and a half one inch down to the south so let's go in there and take a look very active interesting pattern here this is uh, the 06 CGFS at noon today big vortex over Canada zonal flow here and again a beautiful day mostly sunny with a high in the mid 70s probably see some high clouds moving in this afternoon but a cold front comes in here late Tonight after midnight, this is 3 a.m. tomorrow. A band of showers and storms coming into the Tennessee Valley, and those could be fairly strong. They might produce gusty winds or small hail, but the overall severe weather threat is pretty low. Then by 6 o'clock, uh, they're coming through uh, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa. I guess there could be some thunder, but we're, for the north-central part of the state, severe weather not expected, rain probably light. And then by the middle of the day, the, the showers are gone. So this is going to be a quick hitting chance of showers early tomorrow morning. And then the rest of the day should be uh, pretty decent. In fact, it looks like the sun might pop out uh, for the midday and afternoon hours. And the high will be in the probably low 60s. It'll be uh, cooler than today. So again, for tomorrow, morning showers, afternoon sun, and cooler. Now, Saturday as the weekend begins, here comes our next wave to the west, and that's messy. Snow for parts of Kansas and much of Missouri. Rain around the Arklatex. Clouds will increase during the day, but we get the idea the bulk of the day Saturday will be dry. Uh, that rain should begin to move in here late in the afternoon after probably 3 or 4 o'clock. And the high Saturday, I would say, will be in the 50s if the clouds uh, move in early and we think they will now this is when it gets pretty messy here this is midnight saturday night 12 a.m sunday look at that a cold rain falling across most of alabama snow falling uh, over parts of arkansas and tennessee and then by sunday morning at six the bulk of that snow moves over to north carolina and some of the adjacent states uh, and again you can see the GFS hinting there might be some freezing rain or snow issues for extreme North Alabama. But remember, with a warm ground and infrastructure, odds of any problems would be pretty low at this point. And then by noon, it's all winding down. And colder air moves in with a 1032 high. I think we stay in the 40s all day Sunday. It's going to be a pretty cold day. Uh, this is the snow accumulation coming off the GFS. Fairly light amounts for Tennessee, maybe an inch or two for most spots. And uh, this is the NAM, and again, you can see it hints at maybe some light accumulation down into the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. I think to to get the ground wide, it would have to be high elevations, maybe above 1,000 feet. 
Uh, I just don't expect a big impact up there in North Alabama, but just something to watch. We all know odd things happen here in the month of March, but I do think there's a pretty good chance there'll be some snowflakes in places like the Shoals and Huntsville and Scottsboro, but whether it can accumulate or cause any problems, I'd say would be fairly unlikely at this point. But again, something to watch. Monday. Monday morning is going to be pretty cold. We'll be close to freezing. The high will be in the upper 50s. A clipper is coming down over Missouri, and this is Tuesday. The clipper uh, spins up a surface low off the Atlantic coast with snow for some of the bigger cities and a cold north wind on Tuesday. Maybe a few snow flurries for the northern third of the state and a high only in the low and mid 40s. It's going to be a very cold March day. Look at the anomalies. The uh, eastern half of the country, very cold. Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I think we could do 20s in many spots. Another late season freeze. And a week from today, the flow goes zonal and we'll start a warming trend with a high getting back in the 60s and maybe some rain creeping into North Alabama. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday the 18th. Pretty good trough around here, and that looks kind of wet if that were to verify. Check the uh, numbers again coming straight off the uh, GFS. You can see the highs dropping in the 50s over the weekend. And again, I think Sunday will be in the 40s much of the day. And notice those lows around or below freezing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning of next week. Wednesday morning, the coldest morning with 29. And the GFS printing a high of only 42 on Tuesday. The old man winter just doesn't want to go away easily here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.